today we're back at the Smiling Critters Quiz Show. But this time, they added all new questions from Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Welcome to the Smiling Critters Quiz Show. Each question will display for 30 seconds. You must choose an answer before the 30 seconds are up. Those who guess incorrectly will be punished. Quiz Show Corporation is not responsible for any injuries that contestants may endure. Once you walk in your answer, there's no going back. Using Google is against the rules. That means you, Snowy Fox. What? I wasn't going to use Google. Look, Zoe, it's catnap! Right this way! <laughs> Come on, Zoe, let's do this thing! Question one. Which critter is good at math? Is it Dog Day? Bobby Bear Hug, Kickin' Chicken, or Bubba Bubba Fin? Ooh, what do you guys think? Which critter is good at math? I'm pretty sure I remember this from the character descriptions that they said on Twitter that Mob released, like, a long time ago. But that was a long time ago. I've never seen them at school, so I don't know who's good or bad at math. Wait, I did see a bunch of pictures of Dog Day at the school. Yeah, in Miss Delight's school. I do remember seeing posters of Dog Day. I'm pretty sure it's Bubba Bubba Fint, though, because if he has a good memory, wouldn't he be good at math? I think I'm going to vote Bubba Bubba Fint. But why would Bubba Bubba Fint have a good memory? Because he's an elephant, Zoe, and he always remembers. Oh, yeah, that is true. Oh, no, I got it wrong. Oh, yes, I got it right. Oh, no. Check this out, Silly. Now the score is one to zero. I'm in the lead. Wait, not for long, Tyler. I'm totally gonna beat you. And look over here, Silly. It shows that the color will change based on the question's level of difficulty. So we have easy questions, medium, hard, and hacker questions. Let's see what difficulty level the next question's gonna be. It's gonna be medium. The next question is, what critter has a statue in the sleeping area of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Is it Dog Day, Catnap, Bobby Bear Hug, or Hoppy Hopscotch? Okay, guys. So remember in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3, inside the sleeping area. I remember it was like a really messed up sleeping area. Like everything was all destroyed. Remember that, Snowy? Yeah, and there were tons of bunk beds. I feel like it's Catnap because Catnap puts people to sleep, but I don't really remember the statue. Yeah, I don't remember seeing a statue of Catnap. That'd be kind of weird. There is one one character I do remember seeing a statue of because it freaked me out. It looked super creepy, guys, and it was red. Snowy, can you tell me which critter is red? Yes, it was Bobby Bear Hug. Okay, let's lock in our answer. I'm pretty sure that's the right answer, guys. Let's see. I sure hope it's right. Let's see what it is. Bobby Bear Hug. Yeah, look how creepy that statue is. Yeah, it looks brown now. Let's see what punishment we avoided, Snowy. Oh my gosh, we would have fallen down to spawn. Bikes. Look at this statue, guys. That's creepy. She doesn't even have her heart necklace on. Yeah, Tyler, that doesn't look like the loving Bobby Bear Hug we know. It looks old and abandoned. I told them to fire whoever made that statue of me. Who would want to hug that? Here we go, Zoe. Next question is going to be hard. Uh-oh. Catnap is rumored to love who? What? Does Catnap love kicking chicken, Bobby Bear Hug, Dog Day, or Miss Delight? I have no clue. I've never heard of this before. So people are shipping Catnap with somebody? <laughs> Wait, guys, is this from the actual game? Who does Catnap love? I guess he could love Bobby Bear Hug because she does have the heart. And who doesn't love Bobby Bear Hug? Yeah, guys, I think it's Bobby Bear Hug because Bobby Bear Hug is all about love. Maybe Catnap loves Miss Delight. They were the two main bad guys in chapter three. Her messed up face is from him kissing her, guys. Ew, no. I'm going with Bobby Bear Hug. Or does he love kicking chicken? Because everyone loves kicking chicken. I'm voting kicking chicken, Zoe, because he's cool. Yeah, everyone does love chicken. Okay, guys, who does Catnap love? Dog Day, what? <laughs> we're both wrong, Zoe. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, Catnap is eating us. Oh, man. What? Guys, what do you think? Does Catnap really love Dog Day? <laughs> this is the first time I'm hearing of this. Why did he take his legs if he loves him? I guess Catnap shows his love in a weird way, Snowy. Is it true what they're saying, Catnap? You love me? Oh, uh, I don't know how that 
question got in there. Hurry up and go do the next one, or I'm gonna eat you! Okay, Catap, okay. Come on, Zoe. Hey, it's gonna be an easy one. Okay, guys, remember chapter three. What did Dog Day lose? Was it his arms, his legs, his head, or his ears? I do remember getting chased by Dog Day, Zoe. Remember that? And he was walking with his arms, so he didn't lose his arms. He also had a really creepy face, so it couldn't be his head. This is an easy one, guys. He lost his legs. Yeah, everyone knows that. But maybe he lost his head because he lost his legs. Like, he lost his mind. By the way, guys, don't forget to play along and keep score with us. If you beat our score at the end of this video, then you are a certified Smiling Critters Pro. And look, Zoe, we were right. He lost his legs. Let's check how we're doing, Zoe. Look, guys, I'm in the lead three to two. But how are you doing? Are you beating our score right now? Yeah, guys, comment your score down below right now. Also, if you love the Smiling Critters, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. Next question. What Critters Cutout does not have a voice in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3? Uh oh, guys, remember the cutouts? So I remember you could hit the button with the grab pack and then it would reveal each of their voices. So which one did not have a voice? Was it Crafty Corn, Kickin' Chicken, Hoppy Hopscotch, or Catnap? I remember Crafty Corn talking about colors. Oh, yeah. Let's just try to think of what all the cutouts said, guys. I remember Hoppy Hopscotch. Wasn't she talking about jumping to the moon? She's always talking about hopping. Yeah, I think so. And I thought I remember hearing Kickin' Chicken's voice and thinking it was kind of weird, but I can't remember what he said. Yeah, he was like, my name is Kickin' Chicken. He was like screaming. <laughs> but I do remember him also screaming at the very end, but it was like a scary scream. And Hoppy Hopscotch was telling us to not look at our feet. I thought I remember there being a catnap cutout, but did he actually say anything? I don't think so. I'm gonna vote for the cat app cutout, Zoe, because I remember what the other ones actually said. Me too, and I can't remember what cat nap said. Okay, guys, let's see. Cat nap! We were right, Snowy! Yes, we did it! I wonder why his cutout didn't have any words. Tyler, we would have fallen into lava if we got that wrong. Maybe his cutout was him admitting he loves Dog Day! Hey, knock it off! Guys, if Catnap was admitting he loves Dog Day in his cutout, that makes sense that Catnap would destroy it so he wouldn't hear. Hey, I told you to quit talking about that. Okay, Catnap, whatever you say, buddy. Hey, the next one's gonna be medium. The next question is, what color is not on Crafty Court? Is it hot pink? Lime green, cyan, or purple? Okay, guys, think about Crafty Corn. Envision Crafty Corn in your head. Which color is not on her? Isn't her necklace like rainbow? Yeah, Tyler, her necklace has a ton of colors. This is gonna be hard. I don't think I remember seeing lime green. Uh, hot pink. I feel like that would be there. Cyan. Wait, is there cyan? Cyan is one of her main colors. She's like cyan and white. Oh, yeah, you're right like toothpaste cyan and then purple wait was purple there purple could represent catnap so maybe she doesn't want purple on there guys i have no clue uh i'm just gonna guess hot pink okay i'm gonna guess purple i'm guessing she doesn't have purple that would be a cool detail if she didn't have purple. hot pink oh no she does have purple that means i'm gonna get punished guys no oh, i fell into the spikes check it out guys she has all Almost every color except hot pink. I don't know why, but I didn't remember she had purple. Yeah, that was kind of a hard way, Tyler. Hopefully the next one's easier. Oh no, it's gonna be hard. Aw oh, man, it's a hot Cheeto hard question. What does Catnap do when Dog Day wants to play fetch? Does he sit there, chase the ball, stand there, or catch the ball? Wait, when did Dog Day want to play fetch with Catnap? I don't remember this. Oh yeah, I remember seeing animation on YouTube. It was the unused episode of Smiling Critters. Wait, so it was official voice lines? This is a real thing? Yeah, Tyler, but it was unused. Oh, no, guys. Okay, I have no idea. What does Catnap do when Dog Day wants to play fetch? I guess I'm gonna think he uh, chases the ball? Because that's what you're supposed to do when you play fetch. I remember he didn't move, so I can't remember if he stands there or sits there. I think he just stands there. Okay, guys, let's find out. What does Catnap do when Dog Day wants to play fetch. It's an official question. Oh no! Stands there! 
Why are you just standing there? Wait, what? Oh, no. I'm going down a slide. Crafty Corn's gonna eat me. Oh. Check it out, guys. Dog Day says, why are you just standing there? Now that I read that, I think I remember that, Snowy. It's when Catnap was being super creepy. Yeah, he was just standing there and he didn't even say anything. The next question is, what color does Crafty Corn ask for? Okay, guys. During her cardboard cutout lines, does she ask for orange, purple, cyan, or red? What do you think, Snowy? Do you remember? It looks like she says we can't be out, so we ran out of some color. Maybe it's cyan because she's mostly cyan and white, and she would be sad about that. Yeah, because she'd be, like, drawing a picture of herself, maybe, right? Or could it be purple, and that's why Catnap's so angry, because we ran out of purple, and they can't draw Catnap! Or red because of the bad color in that game! I don't think it was orange. You know what? I think I'm voting red, because if she needs more red, she's gonna get it by any means necessary guys. I'm gonna vote Cyan. Oh no, it's red. I was right. Oh man. Oh no. Bobby Barrack's gonna eat me. No. Check it out, Zoe. I'm pretty sure Crafty Corn was asking for red and she was telling us we were hiding it. Maybe she was gonna use our blood. That's so scary. Next question. What happened to the first catnap dream of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3? Okay, guys. Remember when catnap put us to sleep? Did Poppy talk to you? Meeting Catnap, the hour of joy, or the nightmare huggy chase? Ooh, okay, I remember all of these, but I don't know which was first. I remember it was really scary. I mean, the hour of joy was pretty scary, but didn't we see that on a VHS tape? Wouldn't we meet Catnap if we fell asleep from him? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but I also remember Poppy talking to us and, like, showing us a factory and there was, like, a forest and stuff. I think I'm gonna go with Poppy Talks to you. I'm gonna go with Nightmare Huggy because I remember it was really scary and that was one of the scariest things. Oh yeah, when he came out of the TV, right? But we didn't know it was a dream yet. Oh, you're right, Zoe. No, I'm wrong. I'm gonna get punished. No! Oh, I exploded in the lava. Check it out, Tyler. I'm beating your score. Oh no, guys. I better catch up. I wanna win this thing. But what's your score? Are you beating us? It wouldn't be that hard to beat you guys. You're terrible at this. Hey, at least we learned the truth about you in Dog Day. Those are only rumors. Come on, Tyler. Let's check out the next question. The question is, what scares the living smiling critters toys? Oh, yeah. This is when we're like in the playground area. Is it yelling at them? Flare gun, clapping loud, or flashlight light? What is it that scares the creepy living toys, guys? I remember it had something to do with light. Yeah, maybe it's a flashlight light, but I remember there's a thing where we were like running out of ammo, so I'm thinking the flare gun, maybe? Yeah, I think it was the flare gun because it was super bright. Then again, because we have the hands on the grab pack, can we clap with them? It could be clapping loud. That would be pretty funny, but I'm gonna go with flare gun. Yeah, I don't think it's yelling at them either because <laughs> we can't yell in Poppy Playtime. In fact, I don't think we've ever said anything. I wonder if they're ever gonna give the player voice lines. Player gun, yes, we were right, Tyler. Awesome! Player guns are scary. Us smiling critters are highly flammable, you know? Oh, hey, Hoppy Hopscotch. So, are the rumors about Catnap and Dog Day true? I'm pretty sure they are, but Catnap doesn't like when we talk about that. Hey, when did you get here? Get out of here, Hoppy. You're not part of this. Next question. What does Picky Piggy not mention she likes to eat? Okay, guys, I think this was during the cutout lines. Does Picky Piggy mention eating roast beef, fried rabbit, grilled chicken, or flayed unicorn? Only one of these she did not mention. Didn't she mention eating all of the other smiling critters? Yeah, I thought they were all references to her eating them. Like grilled chicken is kicking chicken, flayed unicorn is crafty corn, and fried rabbit is hoppy hops scotch, but who would roast beef be? Yeah, guys, there's no cow smiling critter, so I'm gonna go with that one, I think. Yeah, roast beef, that's my answer. Then again, I don't remember her mentioning fried rabbit. I think I'm gonna vote for that one. Let's see. I could be wrong, though, guys. What's it gonna be? Fried rabbit? Oh, no! You're wrong, Snowy, you're wrong! Oh, my gosh, the fried rabbit's gonna eat me! Oh! That's what's gonna happen to Hoppy Hop 
butterscotch if she keeps talking about those rumors. Oh, no! I have to get out of here! The next question is, what has Kicking Chicken admittedly never done? Ooh, what has he never done? Surfed a wave, eaten chicken, gone outside, or played Roblox? Wait, I feel like he's never eaten chicken or played Roblox. <laughs> yeah, but it says admittedly, Tyler, so he has to have admitted it to us. Oh, okay. So what does he admit to never doing? This must be during the cutouts in chapter three. So I'm pretty sure he surfed a wave because that's in the cartoon. I don't think he mentions eating chicken or playing Roblox. I think he said something about going outside and he wanted us to go with him because he was scared. Yeah, doesn't he say that he's gonna go first, but then something terrible happens and he starts screaming? I'm gonna vote for gone outside. He admitted to never going outside before. Yeah, guys, I totally remember that. Oh, we were right! There's the line, guys. I've never gone outside before, he says. <laughs> I'm surprised. I thought he was adventurous. Check out the scoreboard, Zoe. I caught up to you, and now we're tied. But I'm still gonna beat you, Tyler. No way, Zoe. I'm gonna win this thing. Okay, guys, the next question is medium. Let's see that question. Which critter does not have fingers? Ooh, fingers. Okay, guys, you gotta pay attention to their hands. Does Kicking Chicken have fingers? Bubba Bubba Fint, Catnap, or Hoppy Hopscotch? I know for a fact Hoppy Hopscotch has fingers, but I don't know about the other three. I know Catnap definitely has fingers, Zoe, because he uses his claws to scratch like crazy. And he wants to grab you with his hands and strangle you. That's so true. So now we're left with Bubba Bubba Fit and Kicking Chicken. Kicking Chicken has wings, so I don't think that counts as fingers. I'm voting Kicking Chicken. Well, Bubba Bubba Fit's good at math, so he wouldn't need to count on his fingers. So I'm gonna go Bubba Bubba Fit because I'm pretty sure they just draw him with hooves like crafty corn. Let's see what the answer is. Oh, no, you were right, Tyler, and I was wrong. Uh-oh. You're gonna get punished, Snowy. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, the lava. Check it out, Zoe. Bubba is so good at math, he doesn't need to count on his fingers. He can just do all the math in his head. Looks like the next one's gonna be medium. Wait, Zoe, why is Catnap missing his torso? What's going on? That's super weird. Which critter wears a star necklace? Is it dog day, catnap, hoppy hopscotch, or kicking chicken? Okay, guys, remember their necklaces? Wait, does catnap wear a star necklace, Snowy? Is that why his torso's gone? Yeah, maybe it would have revealed the answer if his torso was there. But then again, I do remember a star shape on dog day. Wait, wasn't that a sun shape? And a sun is technically a star. I thought hoppy hopscotch had something yellow. So I'm gonna go with kicking chicken. I think kicking chicken wears the star. I do remember Hoppy Hopscotch had something yellow, and she mentions hopping to the moon, and then she lands on a star, right? So I'm gonna go with Hoppy Hopscotch because I do remember yellow, but it could be catnap because of nighttime. Oh, I don't know, guys. Which is it? Let's see the answer. Kicking chicken. Oh, no. That is a star. I'm gonna get punished, Snowy. No! Into the spikes. Oh! Aw, man. Look, Snowy. Kicking chicken has an orange star. I never would have got that. I'm lucky I guessed that one. I need to pay better attention to all the pictures of them that's in the lobby. The next question is, who hides under a blanket in the Smiling Critters cartoon? Oh, yeah, in the animation. Remember, Snowy, they're scared. Was it Dog Day, Bobby Bear Hug, Picky Piggy, or Crafty Corn that hides under a blanket? I have no clue. I'm leaning towards Dog Day, but I don't know what that's based off of. Well, I do remember it showed Dog Day on the couch. And didn't he have a blanket, Snowy? Because they were having a sleepover. Yeah, but didn't they all have blankets because of that? I don't know, Snowy. I don't remember Picky Piggy. Wait, wouldn't they just have sleeping bags instead of blankets? Dog Day was on the couch, so he wouldn't have a sleeping bag. I think I'm gonna vote for Dog Day. Me too, guys. I'm pretty sure it's Dog Day. I don't remember Picky Piggy saying anything. I do remember Bobby saying the wind is scary. But what did Crafty Corn do? To be honest, I thought it was kicking chicken. Oh no, it's Crafty Corn! Crafty Corn had a blanket! Aw oh, man, we both got it wrong! Whoa! We're going down a huge slide into Bobby Bear Hunt's mouth! Aw oh, man, I don't know why, but I completely forgot that's what Crafty Corn did. Look, Tyler, we're still tied! 
right. You're right, Snowy. Okay, the next one that only one of us gets right is gonna be the tiebreaker to end the game. Guys, I need to focus so that I could beat Tyler. But before we see who wins, leave a like on the video if you haven't already. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. You don't wanna miss the crazy videos we have coming. Come on, Tyler, let's go see what that tiebreaker question is. What is Hoppy Hopscotch's scent? Is it pine tree, vanilla, peppermint, or fried chicken? I forgot that they all had different scents. Remember that, Snowy? That's part of the Smiling Critters toys. So true. Well, Hoppy Hopscotch is green, so I'm gonna say it's either pine tree or peppermint. Yeah, I think if she smelled like fried chicken, she wouldn't be friends with kicking chicken for long. That's true. I'm pretty sure it's peppermint, Tyler. I'm gonna go with peppermint. Ooh, but what if it's pine tree? I don't know, guys. Which one? Watch it be vanilla, Snowy. Uh, do you guys remember this one? What are their scents? Honestly, I forgot about most of them. I'm just gonna go with peppermint, too, Snowy. I'm locking it in. Let's see what the answer is. It's peppermint! Oh, it's peppermint! Yes, we both got it right! And look, Snowy, we would've gone down a huge slide! Check it out, Snowy! We're still tied! This next question is gonna be the ultimate tiebreaker. Whoever gets this this question right is definitely a Smiling Critters Pro. Okay, guys, let's see what the difficulty of the final question... Whoa! Oh my gosh, Snowy, it's a hacker question! The whole place is all hacked out! Look at Catnap! For 10,000 points! What? 10,000? This is gonna be an insane tiebreaker! I love how Catnap and Huggy are dressed as hackers. Okay, let's see what the hack question is. Does Catnap love Dog Day? <laughs> what? Vote in the comments! Oh, guys, what do you think? Does Catnap actually love Dog Day? Look at that picture, Snowy. Is that Catnap with Dog Day in a heart picture frame? Yeah, and Catnap is the one holding it. Guys, let us know in the comments down below if you think Catnap really loves Dog Day. Catnap and Dog Day sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N Stop it! Stop making fun of me! Hey, you should click on one of those videos that's on your screen right now and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye! And don't forget to like the video! See